Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the beginning of a new series which I am not sure what I want to call it but something along the lines of back to basics for nails, nail art, everything. So if you want to know more about this series then please keep on watching. So I thought of breaking down uh, every aspect of nails or nail art into separate videos and make a dedicated video to it explaining all the things that I know where you can buy, what you can buy, how much they are priced and maybe a nail art in the end depending on the topic that I choose. For example, today's topic is going to be all about base coats and top coats. That is what I'm starting with because it's the fundamental for any nail art or just if you are someone who just polishes your nail all the time, then I think this would probably help you if you are searching for something or if you just want to be entertained. You can still watch it if you are interested in turning this into a series do let me know in the comments down below first of all let's start with base coats there are two reasons why you need base coat the first reason is the base coat helps your nail polish adhere to your nails and that way it makes your nails last for a really long time and they also help in preventing your nail polish from staining your nails that doesn't mean yellow stains it means some colors like ox blood or saturated blue even like the blue that i'm wearing it has a real possibility of staining your nails blue or green or red or whatever color you're putting so if you're going to use a base coat it is going to help it prevent from bleeding sometimes it so happens that even with base coats they do seep through the base coat and onto your nail in such cases, I would recommend you use a two layer base coat instead of a single layer of base coat that would help it to some extent but base coat doesn't mean that it will not um, let the nail polish stain your nails, it will just help it prevent it to a certain extent. Now I uh, have two base coats that are my absolute favorites. This is the Steakworky base coat which like I am totally out of. I am like scooping the ends to get it done and i just want to finish this off this is super inexpensive this is just 90 bucks you can find this on purple.com so i love this base coat the other base coat if you don't want to purchase online is this one by nail envy this is uh, the health and glows in-house brand this is by the health and glow brand itself this is their base coat both of them they are pretty identical i literally don't see any difference between these two and this is priced at rupees rupees 49 and health and glow always has buy two get one free buy one get one free sort of offers in such cases you can stock up on this and buy two or three bottles so these are my two favorite holy grail base coats and I love them so once you're done with base coats you need a top coat so top coats are used for a couple of reasons the first reason is if you're just wearing a plain nail polish like no nail art or anything on top it is to make your nail polish glossy most more often than not it is used to keep your nail polish and make them glossy the other reason is if you do nail art um, they do have different layers like your base layer and whatever you put on top and if you're doing like nail vinyls or something then you apply top coat then add nail vinyls that way when you peel the nail vinyls it will not destroy your base so there are reasons like that why you use a top coat so my two holy grail top coats the first one is the color street top coat this is not marketed as a top coat this is just the color street clear polish this is amazing it dries your mani in less than a minute and gives a super glossy finish it looks like gel nails and i love this if you don't have access to color street the other option that i have is the stay quirky rapid dry top coat again you can find this on purple this is my second bottle and i love this these two have the same drying time but the formula is completely different the color street one is more like a sugar syrup um, consistency it's slightly more thicker and stay quirky one is really 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 watery when i first used this i thought it won't be quick drying because it's really watery but it does the job amazingly now if you're just someone who's just wearing nail polish i would recommend you still wear a base coat top coat is not necessary if you want to avoid sheet marks or if you want to avoid nail polish getting stuck in your hair quick dry top coat i would definitely recommend but if you don't want to take the extra step i still recommend using a base coat because you never know what polish might stain your nails i had a neon polish staining my nails which is crazy 
but also true. Now the next category is somewhat new but it's not actually new but it is sort of something that people don't associate much with base coats and that is peel off base coats. So peel off base coats it's essentially used by nail polish uh, youtubers, vloggers, nail polish vloggers, nail polish swatchers, nail polish bloggers when you are reviewing and swatching an 18 piece 20 piece collection or if you are um, swatching like five or six collections together you don't have that time to use acetone to remove every polish a eh? the second reason is if you keep using acetone to remove your nail polish every time there's a very good chance that your nails are very dry and crusty and the swatch pictures that you take further will make your nails just look terrible so that's the reason why so many people use base coat me included peel off base coat so i have two peel off base coats the first one is the one by Bond Pretty Store. I mean, this is not my holy grail. The base coats and top coats were, but this is not. This is the Temex. That's what it's called, Temex. I do have a full uh, review video on this. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. Um, I thought this would work like the Ant peel off base, the one that Simply Nail Logical uses. I thought this would be like a dupe for it, but it so is not it does peel off your polish but you have to work a lot to get this peeled right and i don't like it i'm only trying to use this up the other peel off base coat that i have is a diy base coat i will leave a link to my diy base coat in the description box below it's a pretty old video but i still follow the same technique this is just an old health and glow base coat um, bottle you can see that health and glow base coat is my holy grail so i have just mixed um fevicol and water and have made this into my peel off base and i love this i choose this over this all the time because this doesn't give me a good peel and this gives a pretty awesome peel it may not come off in one peel but uh two or three pieces this comes off completely but this one especially if you're using like the like micro glitter and stuff like that then if you're using the bond pretty store one it doesn't really help in peeling it any easier so i would suggest going for the diy one so in this day and age quick dry top coats are all the rage every brand that is coming out with a top coat it's all quick dry top coat I don't see the reason why a brand would do a top coat that is not quick drying, you know what I mean? Uh, but I do have some uh, top coats which are not quick dry top coat. They are good. So if you don't find either of this, you could try them. But just saying these are not quick dry top coats. So the first one is uh, marketed as a top coat. This is the Nelf top coat. Go figure. So this is like water. Can you see that? Okay, you can't really see. I haven't used much of this because this ain't top coat. This is literally, I feel like they've just put water in this bottle and I don't like this top coat whatsoever. I don't like the Nelf top coat. It's horrible. It streaks your mani. It has bubbles inside it, which I'm just noticing right now. This would probably be good if you are a swatcher and uh, you want a glossy top coat just enough so that it takes a picture and once your picture is done you can just remove it it would be good for that but for everyday use like a top coat nope this one is really popular this is the dazzler just clear nail polish again this looks like water it doesn't dry your nails really quickly it takes at least half an hour to an hour to let this dry to the touch and if you use this top coat before going to bed i would guarantee that you will get sheet marks or your nails can get stuck in your hair that's a guarantee but this top coat is really good if you are uh, doing water decals like the water marble decals or reverse stamping decals any sort of decals this top coat is really good again this is pretty inexpensive this was like 40 bucks i think i'm not sure but this is also good if you are doing decals or something but as a quick drying top coat nope so the next one that i have is zoe's in 0 to 4 this is just their clear polish this is more or less like a sugar syrup consistency and again this is not the most quick drawing top coat i wouldn't recommend this if you have this to use as a top coat but i would suggest this as a decal topper like this one so if you are doing reverse stamping or something you can use this as a top coat and make the whole decal into a single sticker this is great for that but as a top coat i don't like it 
and the last one that I have is the new Yo everyday chemistry and this is just the transparent polish now um, this polish is not marketed as a top coat this is just transparent but new Yo polishes in general dry quickly maybe five eight minutes they do dry quickly and this is no exception this does dry in five to eight minutes like i said so it would be a good top coat if you want to try and you know if you have new year outlets or you can order this one from amazon as well so this is somewhat easily available as well that's about it i thought of including matte top coats but let me just tell you the only matte top coat that i've used is the one by bon Pretty store it's really good so if you want to mattify your nail art the one suggestion that i would give is to first add quick dry top coat and then add matte top coat once your quick dry top coat is dry to the touch that way your nail art underneath won't streak and it will last longer with a perfect base coat and a top coat combination your mani can last a very long time up to a week almost but if you just mattify your nail art without adding a quick dry top coat glossy top coat beneath it that way your nails will start chipping faster because matte nail polishes or matte top coat in general has more tendency to chip rather than glossy top coats so i guess that's about it oh before i let you go Clear polish is not a base coat or a top coat. You have no idea how many times I've been to a drugstore and I've asked for top coat and they just hand over a clear polish. Ma'am, this is top coat. Or if I ask for base coat, worse, they've handed over white polish. So that is not a base coat or top coat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. If you found this video useful in any way, shape or form, do let me know if you want to turn this into a series. And let me know what topic you want the next back to basics nail art series i have like five or six written already and if you have anything that is not already on my list i will make sure to add it to my list i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one till then bye hi guys hi guys no no so i hope you like this video i found so every brand that is coming and that's just a suggestion, that's just what I want to film. No, anyway, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a beginning of a new series. The Every brand that is Kamong, Kamong, Kamong. The polishes that I'm showing you now, I mean the top coats that I'm showing you, I wouldn't recommend these. So some of them I recommend, some of them I don't, so you'll just have to see. Anyway, please give this video a th 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 th